The men's and women's Ronde van Vlaanderen, aka the Tour of Flanders, the Val Deal Classic, the Volta al Pay Vasco, the Route Adelaide de Vitre, Grand Premio Miguel Indure, the Volta Limburg Classic, Circuit Cycliste La Salle Pays de la Loire, and the Oceana Mountain Bike Continental Championships. As you can tell, I haven't got a future career in linguistics, but it's been a busy old bank holiday weekend in the world of cycling. Sunday marked the 100th year of the Ronde van Vlaanderen, one of cycling's one-day monuments. It saw 206 riders leave the market square of Bruges, 91 of whom failed to make it to the finish. One of those notably was Tom Bonin of Amiga Pharma Quickstep, who crashed after only 19 kilometres, leaving pre-race favourites Peter Sagan of Cannondale and Fabian Cancellara of Radio Shack Leopard to battle it out. And battle it out they did. Nobody could follow Cancellara and Sagan as they accelerated over the Uda Quaramont and then Sagan couldn't follow Cancellara's pace when he went up the Paterberg. Spartacus put in a dominating performance over the last 13 k's, averaging an amazing 49 and a half kilometers per hour on his way to a solo victory where he finished 1 minute and 27 seconds ahead of Sagan and third place finisher Jürgen Roilant of Lotto Belisol. Meanwhile, in the women's race, it was Olympic and world champion Mariana Voss who took the win ahead of Van Dyke of Specialized and Johansson of Orica Greenhedge. Voss has only ridden four road races this season, but she's won three of them. But surprisingly, this is her first win in this particular event, adding to an already illustrious Palmares, and she's still only 25. Recently, Radio Shack Leopard gave a special access to profile Fabian Cancellara's bike of choice. Interestingly, he's one of the few Shimano supported riders who doesn't use an electronic group set. Check it out here. This week, Cycling Plus have got their hands on Campagnolo's special 80th edition group set. Based on Super Record, it tips the scales at 1,862 grams. In case you're struggling with cycling terminology, check out our latest video. It might just help. Cadence. The speed at which a cyclist spins the pedals is known as their cadence, measured in revolutions per minute or RPM. This next news item didn't take much consideration. Sunday the 7th of April, Paris-Roubaix. This year's edition sees more cobblestones than before at 52.6 kilometres, and it also sees the return of the Pont Gibus sector, which was recently renamed in honour of Gilbert Duclos Lasso, a double winner of the race. I predict carnage. Time now for a new feature, which we're calling Tweak of the Week. This is a chance for you to share with us your clever, weird, or even downright ridiculous personal bike modifications. Regularly, we're going to feature the best one right here on the new show. And to give you an idea of what we're talking about, here's a few old favourites from ex-British professional Rob Hales. Whilst Fabian Cancellara cruised to victory in Flanders on Sunday, it was Peter Sagan's wandering hand which stirred the most debate on Twitter. One of the most vocal on the subject was journalist Jane Aubrey of Cycling News, who after asking her followers their opinion, replied with this. before following up with a full article on the Cycling News website. A big question which has been raised is whether or not there's a place at all for podium girls in this day and age. What's your opinion on the subject? Let us know your comments just down below. Sagan has released a Twitter and video apology over the incident, whilst the podium girl in question, Maya Lay, responded with this. I promise to act more respectfully in the future. There was no time for foolish behaviour down at the World to Pay Vasco, which started on Monday. It's a six-day stage race, which is favoured by riders that are targeting the Ardennes Classics, the first of which comes just eight days after the finish of the race, and that's the Amstel Gold. After a frantic descent into the Finnish town of El Goibar, it was Simon Gerens of Orica Greenedge who emerged triumphant ahead of quite a select group of riders, which included Alberto Contador of Saxo Tinkoff and Richie Port of Team Sky Pro Cycling. Tough times, tough climbs. You see what I did there? Check out our latest tips. We're here to help. Even the pros will use compact chain rings and a larger rear cassette if a race profile has gradients in excess of 20%. This week, British Cycling announced their new target to get 1 million more women cycling by 2020. Already, they claim to have encouraged 430,000 women to cycle their bikes regularly. It's a national lottery-funded Breeze programme, informal rides organised by women. The programme added Olympians Lizzie Armitstead and Jessica Varnish to its list of ambassadors earlier this month. Thanks for watching this very special GCN news show. Next week, we'll be back to our normal schedule, so keep your eye out for the news on Tuesday, where we will, of course, be featuring the hell of the north, Paris-Roubaix.